That had to be one of the most chaotic experiences I have ever had in that place. I'm glad I don't come here often. That was ridiculous. I've just, uh, so as you can all guess, I've just been and got the battery sorted on my iPhone 5. That's sorted now, which is great. It, uh, it failed the diagnostic test because uh, it was below 40% and it hadn't run in a curve. It had pretty much taken a sharp drop after so long. Uh, so there you go. It's done. So now I'm hopefully going to find my car. <laughs> When you get to my age, the grey matter don't wear that well and it's easy to lose it. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. God blimey, I eventually found my car anyway. So now I've just got the, what? Well, there's some roadworks at the bottom of the M1 at the minute. Well, on the, no, sorry, the lower section of the, uh, the M18. Uh, and coming down, I got stuck behind some uh, unusual loads, which slowed me right down below the speed limit of the roadworks, which were 50 I think and I was down below 40 uh, and I was stuck behind three of these wagons carrying these big cylinder things oh it's been chaos and uh, now I've got the what hour and a quarter to hour and a half back a bit of M1 South M18 M62 and then pick me way back across East Yorkshire from Howden to Nathan so wish me luck <laughs> So here I am on the M18 and uh, of course they've got average speed check cameras everywhere so I'm stuck to 50 mile an hour. <coughs> it's wall to wall bloody wagons, vans, chaos like that. Anyway I've had a had a bit of a play while I was at the Apple store, as you do like. Uh, I dropped my phone in, you know, went through all the checks. Uh, like I said, it failed the test, so uh, that was okay. Uh, they gave me uh, a half hour time frame where it would get done. So I went off and uh, just grabbed myself a bite to eat, a uh, coffee like. I went to um, McDonald's, and there's one of the big food courts uh, in the Meadow Hall. And uh, Strange. There was a, uh, a thing came over the tannoy, but it came over after. You know, it was saying to people, uh, "Please, please get your food before you reserve a table." Sort of thing. But they were a bit too late because there was already um, a couple of families having an argument over a table. Now I'm not sure exactly how it arose, but it seems it got nasty enough to call the police. Uh, and. As I was walking away, uh, the police was in there talking to them sort of thing and uh, next thing I know I hear all this screaming, uh, why are you arresting me? <laughs> and I turned around and this poor lady was getting dragged off by the police. Uh, so all over a table, you know, and there was other tables coming clear on and off. I could have just moved. But uh, yeah, it's not worth getting arrested over people, come on. But uh, yeah, so anyway, while I was in the store, like, uh, had a play with a, a Mac Mini that uh, was plugged into a Thunderbolt display, a Mac Pro that was plugged into a Thunderbolt display, and also a 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina. Uh, it was just the lower spec, but with 8, eight on the RAM, I think, yeah. And uh, that, was, that was plugged into a Thunderbolt display as well, so uh, yeah, I had a bit of a play. You couldn't film much in there, it was, oh, it was heaving. I don't know why, but it was like wall-to-wall -wall people. Um, <sighs> no idea. It was, it was just so, the, the whole place actually, the entire meadow wall, I mean obviously people are starting their Christmas shopping now. Uh, but it was just chaos, it really was. So uh, anyway, the phone's done. I'm pleased about that, so that's probably going to get passed off to my son now. Um, and then I'll have his broken iPhone 4, which I'll look into getting repaired. Uh, so it's only one of the 8 gig ones, so, so uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit anyway.
So that was the entire of the M18 done now and that short stretch of the M62. So now I'm just done all the awful little A roads from here at Howden all the way across to Driffield in East Yorkshire. So Driffield, Naffin, Naffin was just down the road. Uh, so uh, this, this is actually one of the worst parts of the journey to be fair. The motorways aren't quite so bad normally, although it was awful this morning when I first set off. But uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you at home anyway guys. Right, that was my hectic half a day out. Well, a bit longer than that. I mean, because of timing and that's pretty much a day gone. Um, but yeah, it's uh, not a bad trip out anyway. I've got my uh, so, iPhone 5. That's all working again now. So, that's that sorted. Uh, so I've had the battery change free of charge. I mean, all right, I've had the fuel to pay to drive down to Sheffield, but that's what? Uh, well, actually, the car's averaged quite well on that journey. It's averaged uh, knocking 50 to the gallon. So that trip has probably only cost me about 12 quid, 12, 13 quid, something like that in fuel. So, you know, plus the time off from work and it's a holiday day. So, you know, it was worth doing anyway. Yeah. Oh, Daisy. Hello. Yes. There. And Fred. Fred, yes, you had a slight accident with the clippers, didn't you, lad? You've got a rather bald head now. <laughs> it's not bald, but it's getting there, isn't it, lad? Oh. Yes, you're all pleased to see me, and I'm pleased to see you too. Oh, dear me. You all look like Dobby now. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm glad to be home. That was hectic. The Meadow Hall was absolutely crazy today. It really was. Uh, but yeah, that uh, that woman getting dragged off by the police, I thought, oh dear me, all over a table, come on people, what's the world coming to? You can't find a table, you stand up and eat, don't you? You know, it's, oh, it was just silly that was. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I mean, it got, they, they had like security turn up and I wouldn't have even let it get to the point of security turning up, you know, I'd, I'd have just, have the table, I'm not going to fight over it. But yeah, I don't know exactly what happened, whether she'd lashed out or what, but, uh, you know, it got to the point of the police being there, and that was it. Next thing I know, she was screaming, why are you arresting me? And she was being dragged off down the, uh, the shopping uh, centre, like, so. But anyway, so that's that. Uh, I've got some videos to do, actually. Um, what have I got? I've got one, two, three, three or four videos that I should be getting on with, really. So, uh, anyway, yeah, so that's it guys, uh, I'm going to chill out for a bit now, have myself a coffee, and uh, I think we'll call it a day at that, like, um, so, slightly shorter than usual, okay, so uh, I'll take care guys, I'll catch you all in the next one, see ya.